The feds have cited a southeastern New Mexico zoo for several violations. Those citations spring from an inspection requested by PETA. News 13's Gabe Chavez is in Roswell with what the zoo is doing to fix those problems. The USDA cited the Spring River Zoo in Roswell for a number of issues, including the health of a longhorn steer. The agency cited the roadside zoo for multiple violations of the Animal Welfare Act. Despite the zoo's promise three years ago to make necessary improvements for animal welfare. The citation states a steer had overgrown hooves. The steer is nearly 20 years old. The zoo says they couldn't provide the care needed for the steer in the time frame the USDA gave. But given the age of the animal, we couldn't find a veterinarian that would be willing to immobilize the animal. Um, we did not have restraint devices to physically restrain the animal for hoof trimming. But even given the heat in the summer, these are things that you don't do. So the criteria that the USDA give us to resolve that situation on a timeline left us no other option than to relocate the animal. This wasn't the only incident listed on the citations, including escapes made by some of the animals from their enclosures. A lack of properly maintained enclosures allowed a bear who was recently transferred there to escape along with a beaver who escaped last year and has never been found. Roswell residents say the zoo should be doing more for these animals and that should be what's most important. The animals look like bored and like not happy when I have gone to go to the zoo. They just, they look miserable. In Roswell, Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. That longhorn steer has been transferred to a local caretaker. Those citations are not fines, but rather an initial warning to fix the problem.